Yesterday I spoke a little bit about the drama that unfolds in this gospel, especially here at the Last Supper, the intensity of conflict and uh, the sense that something bad is coming down. This was no ordinary meal that they sat at the night before Jesus died. He not only instituted the Eucharist, but he also, uh, he also told them about his impending death. The first thing about this passage that I think is interesting describes Jesus' state of mind. It says he was deeply troubled. Not just troubled, deeply troubled. Have you ever met someone who is deeply troubled? You might think of a person who's just learned that they have a terminal illness. Suddenly the only thing they can think about is that they're going to die. This can literally change a person. Some people become depressed and saddened. They enter a world of darkness. Imagine Jesus sitting at the table, deeply troubled. Then he announces that one of those at the table is going to betray him. He already knows who it is. And perhaps in a last ditch effort to offer reconciliation to Judas, he hands him a morsel of bread dipped into the wine. Jesus is deeply troubled, but he still has it within him to turn Judas around, if possible. But we're told that Satan had entered Judas's heart. And interestingly enough, Jesus doesn't try to stop him. He simply tells him, do quickly what you're going to do. Then the Gospel passage tells us it was night. Darkness had descended upon Jesus and all those gathered there. Finally, Jesus prophesies that Peter will deny him. And this prophecy, as we know, will come to pass. While Jesus is on trial, Peter will deny knowing him three times. You know, when we gather for the Eucharist here, whether it's daily or weekly, we can be sure that there are those among us who are deeply troubled. Some are sick. Some are struggling with marriage. Some are dealing with wayward children. Others are anxious and worried about the world. Others are simply lonely, discouraged, even angry with life. Yet, even with those burdens we carry, we come to the table to be fed by the Lord. He is the one who gives us the bread and the wine to strengthen us, to be reconciled with Him, to encourage us to keep moving forward. So Jesus knows what it means to be troubled and anxious and worried. And that is why He knows exactly what each of us may be going through when we are here. And even as we gather here, Jesus is ready to heal and forgive. He once carried the cross, and he's ready to help us as we are carrying our crosses. As we move <clears throat> to the end of Lent, let's put our worries and troubles on his shoulders. We know that he can lighten the load for us, whatever load that might be. And in another passage, he tells us, come to me, all who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. May each of us be refreshed in these coming days as we share in his suffering death.